Ooh. All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV, people. Thank you very much for joining. But um, we're going to speak about Daniel Johnson today. Daniel Johnson looking very, very sharp, crisp, as always. You can see the maestro in him. But before I get into more, more details about Daniel Johnson, what I want you guys to do is smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button. Whilst you're doing so, make sure you touch that notification bell so that you don't miss our next video. Let's get straight into the details. So, people, Daniel Johnson back in good form for Preston North End. No, he's one player that I'm extremely tuning on because, because we have the work of qualifiers coming in. And I was surprised that Daniel Johnson was not an addition. I was really, really surprised that Daniel Johnson was not an addition to this particular team. Now, we have played a few games. No Daniel Johnson. I'm honestly hoping to see Daniel Johnson coming back because he's finding some very, very good form at this moment. Now, let's look at what happened today. Man of the match performance from Daniel Johnson, 8.5 match rating. 8.5 match rating. So Daniel Johnson looked to be back to his best for Preston Norton as he bagged a goal and assist today against Barnley. Barnsley. Well, yesterday, actually. Lovely attacking display from the midfield maestro. From people, the midfield maestro. I'm quite sure most of you guys know of Daniel Johnson Price. I'm quite sure. So, what has been happening over a time period is this, people. Now, there's a new coach at Preston North End. There's a new coach at Preston North End. Now, this new coach come in, he implements a system, a more attacking-minded system. The previous coach... Daniel Johnson, these are like some appearances coming off the bench because we know Preston Norton. Daniel Johnson is a captain. More than likely, he will always play. More than likely, he will always play. And all of a sudden, he's coming off the bench. So I'm quite sure that that definitely would um, cause him to dip in form, in and out, in and out. But guess what? With, since his coach come in, he, had, he, 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 he even made a, made a comment in regards to getting back to the, the best the team's best attacking um outlet i'm gonna try and find that comment made by daniel johnson um give me a second again people I'm, I'm trying to find that comment made by daniel johnson people i'm trying to find it so he did an interview and let me read exactly what he said. Daniel Johnson feels the attacking style of football which Ryan Lowe is looking to implement at Deepdale will be good for his game. And definitely, he understood, uh, he understood the job. He understood... He understood the job. And definitely, this coach is coming in to implement something different. Something different in the team. In the attacking side and you could see something like it hit like it's just like a spark just like that just like a spark just like that so let me give you guys some of the details of it of 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 let me make this screen a little bit bigger good hopefully you guys are seeing it a lot better now so the total 89 minutes played people um as you can see in the attacking midfield position he played a little bit more to the left he played a little bit more to the left almost like a winger I would definitely. I think I would say that he played as a winger. I would say that he he, he was deployed as a winger. The system is, is is kind of a different system, but you know that Daniel Johnson is left footed. You know that Daniel Johnson is left footed, so he will predominantly go to the left. Now, eighty nine minutes played, one goal, one assist. Now he had a total of one shot on on to art, three shots, one on target, one off target, and one was blocked. One successful dribble attempt at 100%. Um, touches, 53 touches. He, he, he um, circumed to 40. In, <clears throat> what am I saying? He attempted 40 passes and completed 34 out of that. Now he finished the game with an 85% passing accuracy. Also included one key pass in that. He attempted three long balls. Only one was completed. And I think he's something you need to tone down on just a little bit. He also created one big chance. Um, yes, that's what led to the assist. 
<laughs> um, ground deals 10 and he won five of them. And you all know that he's an attacking minded player. He has a little bit of the central midfield role and he can do a bit of the defensive work to engage in those tackles. He only lost possession 11 times, commit two fouls and was fouled once. So he got a match rating of 8.5 according to Sofa Score. 8.5 according to Sofa Score. It was the highest match rating. And yes, people. He was the match, the player of, of um, the man of the match. He was man of the match. People, it's hard to look past. It's difficult to look past a player with a goal and assist, and also these stats, and not award this player with man of the match. Lovely goal scored, ball played inside of the 18 yard box, and it he, he, he pumped on it and he slotted it. It was a cutback. Yeah, it was a cutback. And actually, after he kicked it, he engaged in a tackle. But the pass that he made, the true ball that he made. Um, 40 goal it was it was beautiful people literally from about it was like a 15 to 20 yards pass zip right across um to the field well in a straight line actually a straight line down to the field towards um to the to the striker strike a lot on and finish it cool and calm so it was a very very good um um worked well worked goal and it was a, a tremendous performance from Daniel Johnson now let's move from that these are the performance we want to see integrate back into the reggae boy system. Now, we are moving away from, as you know, Coach Tapper Whitmore, who plays a more negative style of football. So these type of players would definitely not suit a, a, a negative style of football. As you can see at Preston North End, under, the, under, under his previous coach, that is, he, he was stifled. He was literally stifled. and It was difficult. It was really, really difficult for him. But no. The shackles are off and Daniel Johnson can come back to his best. He can arrive. He can, he can be at his best playing back at that level that we know Daniel Johnson has. So that is what I want to transfer onto the reggae boys going forward. So hopefully, I'm hoping to see back this player in the January window. I'm definitely hoping to see back this player in the January window. And I think we might see him. I think we might see him not saying that he will come. But I strongly believe it's a 80% possibility that we might see back Daniel Johnson in the squad. And I'm quite sure a lot of people would be happy for it because Daniel Johnson is a midfield maestro. He has that potential. He has that quality. I'm not saying that he's a world beater, people. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that he is a quality footballer. And he can produce these type of, these type of performances, performances week in, week out. He can do it. We have seen it. We have seen it already. Ask the press and North and fans, um, North End fans, they will give they will be at um be testament um to that. They will attest to that people. Um, so I won't go any further in no more details about this. Um, hopefully, guys are doing good. Um, Daniel Johnson, love the performance, keep up the good work. Hopefully, we can see this going into the next ne into next year so that we can say, okay, you are one of the men we're looking forward to integrate in the midfield. And definitely that's something that we can look forward to. So, people, um, thank you very much for tuning in, people. And hopefully that everyone is doing fine. And guess what? Smash the like button. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also that notification bell, people. Military Guna TV. 10K subscribers. And I am out.